Shalom. I want to start off saying, Kaal La Yum La, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechal Kodash. First, we give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior. Nathal Mashana Kabbalah is Kareem, Saja Allah, which we give the honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach with real. Shalom, Wa Hala Bakriyah, Saja Allah, which means peace and love to the lack of Israel. Come on, the lesson. This is the brother I know from the GMS Memphis camp. And the lesson going to be um, repentance is still open, you know, because you still see the man of the Lord, the prophets doing the work, you know. Brother still, you know, pushing out videos, you know. Brother still going on the highways and, back, uh, highways and byways, man. So repentance is still open for you Israelite, man, you know, if you Israelite. And what you see on the screen, it said it's the real image of who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ, which is true name, is Yahweh Shai. You know, according to the Bible, man, this is true name, man. He coming back to save his people, man. A so-called black man, you know. We pulling down strongholds, you know. So, hey, this this the true image, man. Yahweh Shai, I mean, he is a deliverer, man, you know. He come back to save his people, which are Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, from Judah all the way down to Issachar, and to the uh, Israelites, foreigners that been scattered amongst the, nut, uh, amongst the nations, the countries, man. They may look like the other nation. They may look like a so-called Chinese person in the settlement, man. You know, if you're an Israelite, your spirit goes back to an Israelite, you know, Romans 8 and 16, you know. Repentance is given unto you, man. The Lord come back to save you. The kingdom of heaven is for you, man. You know? So, for the moment, I'm going to get into it. Lord willing, be edified to the elect. This Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins, man. You know? He shall save his people from their sins, man. Who is his people, man? It didn't say everybody, man. This what the either my you know Christians think that the Lord come back to save everybody, man. You know, no, He come back to save His people, stone with the elect of the nation of Israel, the hundred forty four thousand, man. You know, but all Israel should be saved. You know, according to the Book of Romans, but hey, it start with the elect. You know, I'm jump on to Matthew two and six. It said, and thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah are not the least among the princes of Judah. But out of this should come a governor that should rule my people Israel, man. You know, so Israel, that's, that's it. That's who the Lord came for. That's who the Lord died for. For his people, man. You know, that's what uh, repentance is given out to, man. And repentance is still open before it's too late, man. And you see now we coming to that point where it's about to be too late. That the Lord about to close the doors, man. You got people in the world... No, think it's never too late to give it the most high. It ain't never too late to get right with that power, man. Well, think again, man, because the Lord about to close the doors, man. Just like he shut the doors on, on the ark of Noah, you know, he's going to do the same things, man. The same thing this lifetime, man. Nothing new under the sun, man, you know. And what it said, let me get that real quick. The, uh, post job, let me see. For John 3 and 4, whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law, man. Hey, the law was given to Israel, man. You know, we the only nation that can go off, man. Psalms, let me see, 7 and 8. Psalms 7 and 5, for he established a testimony in Jacob and pointed a law in Israel, man. You know, plain and simple. Which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children, man. So we the only nation that can go off. We the only nation that can sin, man. According to Amos 3 and 1, it said, you have only have I known, man. You know? So we the only nation that can go off, man. That's why we have repentance, man. You know? Turn away from no evil doings, man. Stop committing wickedness, man. You know? Stop eating pork and seafood, man. Stop shaving your beard off. Get headlines, you know, and so on. You transgressing the law, man. You know, plain and simple, man. Psalms 147 and 18 and 19. It said he showed, Psalms 147 and 19, he showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the Israelites. 
His statutes and judgment unto Israel, he had not dealt so with any nation, and it's for his judgments that have not known them. Praise the Lord, Yahweh Shemar Shah, man. Plain and simple, man. So Acts 5, and um, I start to now. Acts 5 to 9, then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High, whether the men, the power of our fathers, Rise up, Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hang on a tree. Him, like, this the point. Acts 5 and 31. Him had the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin, man. That's plain and simple, man. You know? And repentance is still open, man. You know? Repentance is for you Israelite, man. What is I am not sent but to the lost sheep of the nation of Israel? Repent, therefore, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Roughly paraphrasing it, man. You know, repentance is still open, man. You still see the man of the Lord on the highways and byways. Hey, Esau, you don't haven't shut down YouTube yet. You know? Hey, but that time com coming out shortly, man. They're going to be too late. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, Yahweh shall my shout power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. That's the most important thing, man. You know, that's the most important thing, man, hearing the words of the Lord, man, because it's going to be a famine of food, famine of water, you know? But, hey, the most important thing is the famine of the Lord, the, His word, man. What did the Lord say? Him that, um... Drink, drink of this water, should never thirst again. You should never hunger again. You know, you um taste the Lord. You know His word, His wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. They would say Isaiah thirty-three and six, wisdom, and knowledge should be the stability of that times. You know, so this is the most important thing, man. He said, but of hearing the words of the Lord, and how can you hear the words of the Lord through His prophets? Matthew ten and twenty. It's not ye that speak, but the uh, Father which you have is speaking in you, man. You know. That how you that how you can hear the words of the Lord, man. You know, hey, let me get that real quick. Jeremiah thirty five, I think five. Let me see. Thirty five and fifteen. Jeremiah thirty five and fifteen. Man, I like it. I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early, and sent to them, saying, Return ye now, every man from e from his evil way, and amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them, man. That's what we, uh, that's what you see now in the highways and byways. You know, stop worshiping Caesar Borgia, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, man. That's a false god, man. And Jesus Christ, he about to be on vacation soon. That nigga been on vacation. He not answering your prayer. You know, Jesus Christ just shut the doors down <laughs> to the churches, man. Who you going to call on then, man? You know, <laughs> give that name up, man. Jesus can't fucking save you, man. Plain and simple, man. Only one can save you is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know. It said, um, to serve them and you should dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers, but you have not inclined your ear, no hearken unto me, man. Know what the book of Jeremiah 11, 14 said, therefore not pray for this people, man. We're not going to be praying for you, man. The blood off our hands. We told you to get right. We told you to come back to the Lord, you know. But the Lord sent his prophets, man. You know, why is it early, man? You know. So you bet the Amos 8 and 11. Well, I get 8 and 12. It's a, uh, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall want to and forth to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. So you're not going to find the word of the Lord, man. You're not going to find the uh, man of the Lord on the highway and, and byways prophesying anymore, man. You know? The most suffering would draw his man, you know? But, hey, you still see him now because with pictures still open, man. His hands still stretch out still, man. Proverbs, the uh, fourth chapter, man. I have called, but uh, you refuse, man. And two-thirds of our people, you know, you Israelites, they refuse to come back to the Lord, man. You know? So, hey, it's going to be too late for you, man. That was good to say in uh, Sirach 5 and 7. Make no time to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly should the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, come forth. And that security that should be destroyed and perish in a day of vengeance, you know? In the day of vengeance, you know, in the Lord's day of vengeance, man, you're going to be destroyed, man. 
you know, in your security, man. You know, when you think it's safe, you know. So you're going to be destroyed, man. You know, you got a lot of Jay talking about I'm going to get right with the Lord when I'm, when I'm 40, you know. I'm, I'm still young now, you know. But, hey, clear I see Trevor want to tell you not to do that, man. Remember that day of that youth, and, uh, where the evil day uh, don't dry now, you know. When you lying on your deathbed, ruffling prayer facing, you know, in the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, man. But the scripture said, man, don't tell him to turn to the Lord, man. Come back to the Lord now. Repent, man. You know? I'm going to get one more scripture. I'm going to close out. This is uh, 2 Andrews. Get straight to the port. 2 Andrews 9. I'm going to start at 11. Man. Y'all yeah, going to get straight to the port. 2 Andrews 9 11. And they that have low my law. Where they had yet liberty, and when is yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despise it, man. You know what did what do Proverbs thirteen and thirteen say, man? Whoso despises the word should be destroyed, man. But he that feared the commandments should be rewarded, man. Plain and simple. So hey, but understood not, but despise it, man. So you gonna be destroyed, man. For um, refusing to come back to the Lord, man. You know? It said the same must know it out to dealt by pain, man. You know? So, hey, we, hey, repentance is still open, man. We still see uh, the prophets doing the work, man. Then, hey, the night, <laughs> hey, the night is, is almost here, man. Amos 11, the prophets about to be fulfilled soon, man. You know? So repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So with that, I hope you edify what's going on. Give out praises and the glory to you. How about Shema Shai? By Shema Kakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Manstone. Who teach the world and peace and love to the leg of Israel. With that, Shalom. Kwame Nasha'Allah. Wa Baba.